Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. Today, I am excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited! And why I'm excited? Well, let me tell you, there's actually two reasons why I'm excited. This enclosure right here goes next door because again, the floor is finished. We can walk on it now and I can finally put this enclosure in the first enclosure of the Reptarium's expansion. I literally could barely sleep last night. Literally all night, all I could think about is taking this enclosure, putting it in the wall and seeing how that wall is gonna look once the first enclosure in. Oh, and by the way, there's another reason I'm excited too. And the other reason is my buddy Coyote Peterson from Brave Wilderness actually has an Animal Planet show about to premiere here at, I think it's a week from Sunday, on Animal Planet called Brave the Wild. I'm excited for him. And tonight, we're actually traveling to Columbus, Ohio to go to a premiere party with Coyote. So we get a sneak peek of his new series tonight. So I'm excited. Coyote is awesome. I'm excited for his show, and I cannot wait to get down there. But for now, let's go ahead and work on this enclosure. I could not be more, yeah, that's right, excited. I'm excited! First things first, let's hope our measurements are right. I'm gonna measure this opening and then measure the cage just to make sure it fits. I hope that we make the right measurement. All right, so we've got essentially almost 31 inches this way, and I think I left some room to kind of adjust because the rock wall is gonna come right up to it. So 31 that way, 75 and a half this way. So first we're gonna do is measure, see if it's 75 and a half this way. Yep, we've got about an inch that way, which is exactly what I was hoping. And then we have 31 this way, yep, and 30. So, okay, we've got it about a half inch all the way around, which is exactly what I want. Now what I want to do is actually measure the height of this, which is six inches, and then this here, which is five inches. So six inches tall, five inches wide. And what I'll do is I'll build a stand for the bottom, of course, five inches back this way, so it butts right up against that wall. And then, of course, six inches high, so that this will slide right onto it, where the stand basically becomes an extension of that hole opening. Then we can shim it up, and you gotta remember that the rock wall is gonna come right to the front of the cage, so we don't see any of that gap. So uh, let's just go ahead and cut up some legs and screw them on. So to give you an idea, basically what's gonna happen is the cage is gonna sit like this and then it'll butt right up against this and then the cage is right on here. So we just have to put these feet over on this side, right like this, we'll secure them to the cage here. And if my measurement is correct, we should have six inches high, a little over, cause I want to get a little over. And then we should have the five inches of the width of the actual wall. That way when this slides in, this will be the actual wall itself. So all I have to do is secure these, tip them up. If everything works, hopefully it'll fit like a glove. Thankfully I have Andy Gabs there uh, helping me out. I'll put a link in the description to his stuff. He's been filming a bunch of stuff as well. So we're just gonna pick this up. Hopefully everything works. Kind of move it over here, tilt it up and shimmy it in. So uh, I am beyond excited. I mean, I cannot believe we're actually kind of installing the very first enclosure of the new Reptarian expansion. So, all right, so now we're gonna lift up this. All right. And slowly kind of move into this position here. I didn't even think about the foam. I just have to do a little bit of cutting here, but I want to see what it looks like from this side. Whoop, he's leaning back. <laughs> okay. So we can, again, what we can do is we can shim things, we can kind of move things, but overall, you get the idea of what this thing looks like. I mean, again, we got the curve wall going in here, right to this sucker here, and then of course, the rock wall is gonna come right to here. So all of this will be covered. So the rock wall is gonna bend right to here, right to here. The lights go on this. We'll put some lights on it, see how it looks. And then, uh, yeah, it's gonna be absolutely amazing to be able to open it up like this. And there it is, guys. The first enclosure of the Reptarium expansion. Oh my gosh, again, we have a little work to do to shim this in here and to get it all secured. But once it's all in, holy moly, is this thing gonna be absolutely insane. Let me know in the comments what you think. I mean, did I make the right decision? Or I should say, did we make the right decision? Cause you guys actually helped me with the idea to do this. So 
I couldn't be more happy. It looks absolutely stunning. Yeah. Yeah, guys, that was the right decision for sure. I mean, just uh, again, there's gonna be a lot of enclosures in this middle aisle, so you won't be able to see it from this particular perspective. But uh, definitely, when I think about that corner over there, that was kind of a dead area. That would have been cool with a rock wall, but adding that enclosure, oh my God, it is so incredible. And again, you gotta imagine that you won't see any of the border at all, right? It's gonna go rock right up to the glass. So it's gonna be just this curving rock wall right up to the glass, and then it's almost like it's built in. And the actual rock that we're using is the same type of rock and color is the enclosure itself so it's almost gonna feel like we carve that into a rock wall definitely uh, I love it man there it is guys it's begun officially the first enclosure of the Reptarium expansion Dude, it's nice. I'm so excited about this I can't wait to go get Lori and see if she what her reaction is to it let's go get her hey Lori do I come see the new cage it's in at the Reptarium? Oh. Yeah, you wanna check it out? I think it looks pretty cool. I hope you'll like it. You didn't break anything? No, shockingly. Hey, Eric, Jessica, do you guys wanna come see real quick? I mean, it's just silly, but I'm excited about it. <laughs> I think the first enclosure. All that right. Looks really good. I know, and obviously it'll be rocked out right up to here, you know, so you won't see any of that, you know? So I said, did it turn out good? It did, you gotta clean the glass. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's why I brought you over. No. <laughs> I brought you over so you can clean yeah, it. Yeah, where's the sloth? I know, where is it? Right, where's that back? is the question. Where is the sloth, Lori? You took it out. Well, I'm it talking about my real back. sloth. But uh, pretty awesome, huh? Yeah, yeah. So it has to be perfect. done. All right, that makes me feel good. Like, okay, those measurements, we're good. <laughs> I, was, I was a little worried. Yes. I was a little I'm worried. always worried. I was a little worried, but it worked out, yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? No, I actually was just uh, earlier cleaning Ubisuka's water today. I have this feeling that like she's not necessarily wanting attention, but, but, but like that she's sort of bored. She wants some stimulus. So I'm gonna throw her a, throw her a complete curveball. I've never really, I never really go inside the cage. I usually respect her animal's space and stuff like that. But for the most part, like uh, Ubisuka spends a lot of her time at the glass, like trying to get me to open it up and let her out. It'd be interesting to see how she reacts with me inside the cage. Now, um, one thing I want to actually point out is um, I always have somebody behind me. I don't do this at all by myself, and I wouldn't recommend doing this with, at all with any animal like this by yourself. Always have somebody around if you guys plan on doing the same thing. Let's see how she acts, because she doesn't look hungry, because otherwise she'd be running right at me. But I don't want to make a sudden movement and make her think I'm trying to feed her. Every time, every time she's ever tried to bite me or hurt me, it's never been because she wanted to do it. It's because I, I, I had done something that would have stimulated her. Look at her right now. She is super, super like, curious as to why the heck are you in here oh my god does this even happen ever ubu they really do question everything and it, it's, it's like looking at a dog or a cat or a bird they just like it's not a it's not a fear thing i mean look at her she's like she's 100 percent interested as to why i'm in here like um but it's not a food response at least not yet and, and, and not saying that she won't even turn around and go oh i'm gonna bite you now that's still the risk that we're willing to take, and, and again, we're putting our fingers at risk here just to try and try and work with these guys a little bit more closely. So I still keep my hands a little bit of a distance away from her face because, like, again, like it's all it takes is one wrong movement. See, like she turns her head like that. She just saw me drop my hand just barely, and I barely move my hand. If this was a, and when I say sudden movement, they they really, literally every little bit of a see, every little bit of a movement could be something to her. Now, if you always notice, we do try to do similar to similar techniques to like uh, Kevin does, where we approach we approach with our fists like that, and we always go under the chin. You notice that she doesn't really care for it; she's not a big fan of it. But this isn't going to trigger her to want to hurt me or bite me. The way I look at it, and Kevin might actually disagree with me on this, but the way I look at it is like you're basically showing how vulnerable, like you're really making yourself to that animal. Like you're presenting your hand to it, offering it to bite you, giving it, basically daring it almost, showing that you're not afraid. Sometimes that works in your favor, you know, and it does. Sometimes it doesn't though, and I'll tell you that. Got a box here, actually. Jay's mom actually uh, got something for Beth. Oh really? Here you go, Beth. Here you go, Beth. <laughs> Present. Okay. There we go. Oh, I I get to open it? Yeah, you it's your present. This is really for me? This is from Jay's mom. From mom? You're one of those people on Christmas, right? That just take all the time. Rip that thing open, no, man. No, I'm not trying to kill somebody either. Like, Cut that what? damn thing. Come on. <laughs> Jeez, the, the anticipation is killing me. Oh, this is the wrong box. This is for me. Oh, oh crap! <laughs> <laughs> There's another one coming. There's another one coming. Oh, no. You open Jay's underwear? 
Like I mentioned, I am super excited to get down here to Columbus, Ohio and see this premiere. Uh, Coyote's a really good guy, a friend of mine. I support him 100%, so I think that this is gonna be really awesome. I'm super excited just to see this thing. It's been a long wait for sure. And the reason I'm excited, not only for my friend, but also, you know, when you get cool wildlife shows that potentially could do well on a network like Animal Planet, guess what happens? Other shows just like it get going. Not that I'd be interested, because to be honest with you, I really don't want to do TV. I love YouTube and social media and stuff like that. But I hope other people will do similar shows, which would then teach people and educate people how amazing these animals are. So we have about a three and a half hour drive down to Columbus, Ohio. We'll go ahead, do this premiere, hang out a little bit, and then drive right back home. And we made it down to Columbus, Ohio. Actually, right across the way here is where the theater is, where this premiere party is happening. So it should be pretty cool. Uh, I am looking forward to seeing what's going on. I don't know if we can film in there or not, but if we can, I'll give you guys the uh, kind of sneak peek of what's going on. If not, uh, we'll have a really good time. And on the flip side, I'll let you know how it went. <laughs> I, didn't, I hope we didn't have to dress up because uh, I, I didn't know. I didn't even think about this. I'm you know, gonna be funny, embarrassed. My, my mom is the same thing. Like, what are you wearing? I'm like a hoodie and jeans. <laughs> <laughs> Like this, and maybe I feel a little bit better like this. What do you oh, think? that's what it is. You look like, like you're going to Breckenridge. Let's straighten you out a little bit, though. <laughs> you look like you're going to Breckenridge there, Brian. Yeah, we are, we are definitely underdressed, guys. Just stepping away from the party. I'm gonna to be totally honest with you. I'm super excited to be here and honored to be a part of the Coyotes premiere, but uh, I didn't realize that everyone was gonna be dressed up, so I feel kind of just goofy as heck. The fact that we're in t-shirts and jeans and everyone else is in suits and dresses and stuff like that. Coyote was amazingly great, and he said he didn't care at all, but uh, we're about to go in and see the premiere. Obviously, we can't show you guys any of it. It's just next Sunday is the actual airing of the premiere of the show, so it's gonna be amazing. On the other side of this, I will definitely tell you what I thought and stuff like that. I'm sure I'll be absolutely blown away, but uh, definitely one of the most embarrassing things, you know, I put myself out there all the time uh, and get myself into precarious positions constantly. This one is really weird. I don't normally feel this uncomfortable, but hey, I'm making the best of it. Howdy, thank you so much for having me, brother. My this pleasure. Is amazing, a slam dunk. You knocked it out of the park, dude. Uh, I, I will do everything I can do to get every person I know to watch this. So just really, I want to thank you uh, for being so awesome. Keep carrying that torch, brother. I'll do my best, guys. Tune in to Brave the Wild Sunday nights at nine o'clock on Animal Planet. Four hour drive back to Detroit, but uh, I tell you what, I'm smiles on the inside. We needed a program like this on TV. It's been a long time. And uh, I, please guys, go show this some love because it's gonna be absolutely awesome. Absolutely love Brave the Wild. Really an amazing show. I think you guys are gonna enjoy it too. Whether you catch it on Animal Planet or Hulu or whatever you watch your stuff on, definitely check that out. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Right over here, you can subscribe to my podcast channel if you don't mind. Over here, you can run through a playlist. On this side, you can subscribe to this vlog channel. Turn the post notifications on for me. Have a wonderful day. Be kind to someone. I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.